Hey guys, Infinite back here with a brand new video today. First off, before going to the main topic, I want to talk about how you guys got me nearly 400 channel views with me only ever being posted for three weeks. It's insane in my mind to you, it's probably like, oh, it's nothing. To me, it means a lot. Okay, so thank you for the support. Uh, I hope have it continue through the summer when I do start doing more consistent consistent uploads. Anyway, what's happened to the video today? I'm gonna be reviewing X Men Apocalypse. I just saw it, and if I'm right, it's been out for about two weeks now. I actually saw it today at like 10:30. I woke up at 10, and this is all in the morning. I look up at 10 of 5 and left a 10.30 movie. Anyways, it was a good movie. My personal opinion, could have been more. Okay, could have been more. Like, I like the new Jean. But at the end of it, definitely could have played a more troubled Jean. And before I continue, for those who haven't seen it, Spoiler warning! Spoiler warning! And spoiler warning! And last spoilers, I think you have three spoiler warnings. Anyways, at the end where she's fighting Apocalypse, instead of becoming the embodying, embodying, and, hmm. God. I cannot speak at 107. Embodiment of the Phoenix. Instead, she summons the Phoenix. Which doesn't make sense to me, because if she is the phoenix, how does she summon the phoenix but not become the phoenix? Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, what confused me the most, the entire movie, was... Uh, they're in Wolverine scenes. When they are stuck in a facility and they say a weapon axe is loose and it's Wolverine... This movie, what these movies are doing is they're going back and retelling what happened from Days of Future Past. I saw the Days of Future Past. It what happened was Wolverine well, we went back in time, stopped Sentinels, stopped the massive war that killed almost every mutant. It said now they're what they're doing is going back, telling what happened instead of the war. Telling what happened in the 80s and the early X Men. Okay, they're doing early X Men now. But his conscience and remembrance of the time of four should still be with him and he should know everyone. He should know them by name, but instead he's an aminal. Am aminal. Am I saying that right? I'm talking like a British person. Put me now, I'm talking about like a. someone else. But, anyways. Alright. Uh, does make sense to me because he should have retained his memory. Of course, he could have. Uh, the only thing that makes sense is they wiped his memory. But if he went back, that means he was never on Striker's Island, which confuses me because he's in a Striker facility. But he reworked the Strikerness. Right? When it still happened to him in an alternate timeline, but he's not in that alternate timeline. He's in the timeline that is now. It makes sense. I'll explain it. But I don't think that can even confuse me the most. For a say, what well, confused me the most because I've watched all the animated series. I've read some of the comic books and all that. I've watched the cameo series and all that. Alex Summers. Of course, I know he's a mutant, but... Did you really touch base on that? Like, if he didn't read the early comic books, I didn't even read the early comic books. I'm just assuming this. You wouldn't know who he is. Right? Or whose powers and all that. They could have set him up better. Uh, I was about to think if... I was going the worst part of the movie was definitely the apocalypse fight. I don't like that scene. For one main reason it was because he seemed out of it. 
Apocalypse is literally the most powerful mutant. And he couldn't stop. Like these weak. Untrained. Mutants. Okay, that's. Like. That's what. Was like, oh, wait, what? I mean, I understand they have to, like. Hey, I understand this. He, he was out to, to win. But it should have end, ended with this Jean Grey taking his body. Her falling down and almost dying. But she becomes a phoenix and all that blah 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 happens. But yeah, that's my first part of the movie. Now I'm going to go to a positive part of the movie. I think they did Nightcrawler amazing. Loved him. Like, favorite part of the movie. He was joking. I mean, he didn't mean to. Like, he's like, what is a mall? And all that. He saw a movie and all that. And he's like, what is a movie? Because he lives as a homeless person. Russia or Germany one of those two that area but I loved him comedy and when he wakes up it's like whoa what did I miss when after the apocalypse fight which kind of made me like okay he's funny I like this I want to see more of him I want Nightcrawler to have his own movie because his amazing backstory. Maybe do a Nightcrawler Gambit thing because they intersect a lot. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just not trying to give tips to uh, Marvel. <laughs> you should have canceled the Gambit movie. <laughs> yeah, you know. If you guys didn't know they canceled the Gambit movie, they're like, nah. No, we don't need to make a Gambit movie the most badass character ever in the X Men universe. <laughs> No, it's just mercenary. Anyways, that's sort of mine. And overall, you guys want a number or grade? I'll give like a 8.3 or 7.9 out of 10. Or 83% out of 100 or 79%. However you go, 4 out of 5 stars. 7 baked potatoes out of 10 baked potatoes. 11 baked potatoes out of 15 baked potatoes. Uh, yeah, that's my X-Men Apocalypse official review. Or uh, unofficial official. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for the amount of support you've been giving me. And if we can smash 20 likes. 20 likes. No, I probably won't get that because now that people like my videos. <laughs> But if we can smash for 20 likes, that would be great. That would be amazing. And also, kind of do an update on my next video about stuff and things I need. But, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm Nerd, signing out.